Hello Libra, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this person feel about Libra? Okay, so you get the queen of swords. We have the two of wands. We have the knight of wands. Hmm. Three more. Seven of Cups. The world. Okay. So someone here feels like you send them mixed messages. You could feel like this person sends you mixed messages. There's like an inconsistency here. I feel like at times this connection is really, uh, you know, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of interest. And then it kind of like dies off here. This person sees you as someone who's like not going to put up with any BS. So it's almost like there's this energy where this person knows they'd have to change something about themselves here with the Knight of Wands. Like, I feel like the way that they've been approaching this connection has worked to an extent. And maybe you're getting to the point where you're like, this isn't working anymore. Or there's been some sort of boundary set here. Um, the thing is, this person feels like you have options. This person feels like there could be other people, at, you know that you're interested in or that you could go for here. So there's like a lack of direction with this connection. Like even though there is um, passion and there's interest, it's like no one really knows where it's going. Because it's like, I feel like even every time there's a conversation about where it could be going, there's like a standstill. I feel like one person says, this is what works for me. The other person's like, well, this doesn't work for me. And then it's like, okay, now what? But there's still that interest. There's still that chemistry it, it feels like a cycle here with this person tell me about the queen of swords death you could have ended this or talk about ending this with this person we have scorpio energy here um or you're, you're just at this point where you're like if things don't change it, it will end right um because it just feels like there's a lot of inconsistency there's there it's hard to tell where the connection's at any given day because no one knows what's going on but i feel like the difference is is that you've set some sort of boundary here you've been like you might have even said something like i'm not afraid to walk away or i'm not afraid to end things if i need to because you're not giving me what i need or i'm not afraid to like explore other options if you don't give me what you need so it's like it's it's how do I put it? It's like lighting a fire under this person's butt, but they're still doing some of the same things here. It's like they hear you, but they also aren't necessarily changing right away. It just feels like no one knows where this, where this is going. It feels like a situationship kind of deal. So if there's no one in your life right now, it could be that this person's coming in. There is going to be a lot of chemistry um, with this Knight of Wands energy, but I feel like it's not like the energy and the effort put into this connection is not consistent you can even go like days without talking to this person or something like that um it's kind of how this feels there's a lot of mixed messages going on tell me about the seven of cups like not really knowing okay we have the empress tell me more we have taurus libra energy and then we got the king of swords it's interesting because gemini got the king and queen of swords coming out as well um sort of like stalemate energy at times. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, you have Gemini in your chart, there could be uh, 
something in that message for you. <laughs> Are there children involved? Is someone a parent? doesn't have to be, but the king and queen king and queen of swords are here. You both are really good at getting your point across, but I don't know if the other person necessarily absorbs it is kind of how it feels. I feel like there could be another energy involved here, another feminine energy. It doesn't have to be like a romantic partner. It could be like a mother figure um, that... It could be, it doesn't have to be, but it just, it feels like there's someone else here that kind of also has a say in the situation. I don't know if this is someone who like has children with someone or something like that, um, or like I said, a mother figure, but it feels like, tell me more about the Empress. Three of Swords, yeah. Patriot, yeah, there's someone else here. There's someone else here. There's another energy involved here. It's almost like, you know what I'm getting is like when it's not working with you, when there's like this stalemate, this king and queen of swords energy, this energy of like, you know, it could like this, this can end. It doesn't bother me if it ends or like, you know, it maybe it needs to end. It's almost like that's when this other energy pops up. So I don't know if it's like this person has issues with you and then they call on this other, this, this, it feels like a mother energy or like a parent energy, um, but it doesn't have to be. It feels like, it's almost like a backup, but they're kind of always there is how it feels. Yeah, there's someone else here. So I don't know, and, and maybe it's just their like their, their, their mother or their sister or a good friend or something like that. There's someone else here that I feel like they go to when things are not good between the two of you. And things are not good between the two of you because there's a lack of direction and there's inconsistency. And it's on this person's part, but they look at it like you setting the boundary is more of an issue than their actual behavior, which is backwards. And it's like a cycle with this person. That's how it feels. Um, okay, so let's see there. And, and yeah, but then I do feel like this person comes back and apologizes to you at times too. But like I always say with the Page of Cups as an apology, it's like it doesn't match whatever happened it's like an apology that doesn't mean as much so let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more what actions will this person take towards libra okay we got the the moon pisces energy the five of wands tell me more Oof, we got the lovers gemini energy so there's that more gemini energy there um <clears throat> there's there's definitely a choice here someone has a choice i don't know if it's this per it feels like this person goes back to someone else when it's not working with you too um there's a lot of unknown here there's a lot of like vague details i'm feeling it feels like there's tension it feels like someone has to make a choice and they're not doing it i do feel like this person has a very strong connection to you but there's someone else involved here i have to be honest with you it's like competition um this person could even want you to like compete for their attention in some way. Remember, I do love readings, but love doesn't always have to be romantic, right? It could be like, this is a friend doing this, or this is a family member doing this, but it definitely feels like there's someone else involved here that this person keeps involved. So even though there's a strong bond between the two of you, they can't, they're not just embracing that. They're, there's another energy here. Tell me more about the lovers and the five of wands. <clears throat> cards flying here we have seven of pentacles and we have the three of you know i just get this energy from this person of like just give it time that like they might even say something like give it time give it time like i need time to work on things or i need time to invest or like let it grow slowly but it feels like in the meantime they're not meeting your needs they're not making you feel heard they just it's just like a stalemate and you setting a boundary is making them feel like they have to hurry up and do something, but then they're not really doing it. Tell me about the moon. Because this is like very vague energy, the emperor. This, person's, this person likes to be in control. We have the emperor and the empress here. So if there's like parents, if this person like has children with someone else, for instance, and that's the other person, th that they're always going to be vague about that is what I'm getting. There's some other connection here, Emperor, Empress here, some very strong connection here that they keep 
vague for a reason. Maybe this is you. Maybe you're the one that they they don't tell a lot of people about or, you know, people ask about who you are to them. They keep it very vague. They keep it very... Uh, there and I feel like this it's a it's a way of this person maintaining control here. We have Aries energy here. So we have Aries, Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, uh, Leo, Sag, uh, Aquarius, Taurus. I don't know if I said Taurus. Um, this person it's like their way of maintaining control over the situation is by not saying everything. <clears throat> so it's almost like if you're looking for answers from this person or like clarity, I don't see that coming in the next few weeks. I feel like this person is purposely keeping things under wraps here, to be honest with you. Okay. I just like moved the deck and the page of wands fell out, but we'll see. Anything else about that moon, the emperor? Ten of wands. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's like keeping everything a secret is burdensome, but this person would rather have that burden than tell the truth, than open up and say what's, what's actually going on. I have to be honest with you. It's like every day they have to wake up and like make sure they're maintaining the, the story or maintaining control of the situation. And it's like the weight of the world is on their shoulders, but they're not willing to do it any differently. So I don't know. It's like the, there is a strong bond here for sure with that lover's card. But I also, I have to be honest with you, this person also has a strong bond with someone else. I don't know who it is. And they're not going anywhere anytime soon. So, and there's this energy of like, just wait, just wait. So let's see their intentions for you. What is this person's true intentions with Libra? We have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, they do want to work on it. It's like truly they want to put the work in and like nurture this connection. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Page of Swords. Tell me more. Eight of Wands. We're getting eight, eight. You know, I feel like this person could be the type of person to kind of like do good for a little bit. Like they kind of put in the effort. They could even like be really generous, like financially or what have you. They they nurture the connection for a little bit and then they they kind of stop. It's like things feel like they're progressing and then there's like a standstill and there's like this resting period of them just like thinking about it and then maybe even spying on you, trying to figure out what you're up to, trying to see if there's anything they should be aware of. Like, I, I just keep getting this energy of inconsistency. It's like, no, even if they're doing well and they're putting in the work, it doesn't last for long is how it feels here. <clears throat> why the four of swords? Like, why does this person do that? The magician, they're trying to maintain, maintain control of the situation. I feel like they do whatever it is in their power to like keep you around to make sure like you won't go anywhere, but they are, it's like they're playing a chess game. I feel like they're like the puppet master. They're looking over the board of, of the, of life with you and this other person and whatever. And they're always moving the pieces. They're always like one step ahead. That's how it feels with this person. <clears throat> and they're all, and they're spying on you too, to make sure they, they want to know what you're up to. So what, like, what is the potential outcome between Libra and this person? What is the potential outcome? Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, feeling trapped. Page of Pentacles, all these pages coming out. Like this person likes to be in control, likes to like be very dominant. But that when it comes to like what they actually need to do, all these pages coming out. Like this person could be immature or just act like, like they don't put that much effort in. Tell me more about potential. This could even be you being like, let's just be friends. We have the high priestess. Six of swords, the star. I'm, all, I'm getting like this energy. We have the Aquarius here. I'm getting, and you see the six of cups at the bottom. There's just, just like, there's history here that's not going away. I just get this energy of like, maybe we need to move away from each other to make this to work, to heal, to, to heal ourselves kind of deal. And like, just be friends for now. Like, that's kind of how this feels. But it almost just feels like the easier way out. It feels like in order for things to be good, in order for things to be in like a good space, to be in calm waters, that this person feels like they have to like move away from you. But that's just like, the, it feels like 
moving away from you just makes it easier to kind of deal with all the pieces that they're moving rather than actually deal with the issues. I think this is an opportunity for you to heal though too, Libra, for you to kind of move away and like see things from a clear picture. Because when you're right in the thick of it, it can be harder to like, especially when emotions are involved, it's harder to see what might be best, right? So maybe moving away from this person is what's best at this time to kind of clear your head even, maybe spending time in nature, but like following your intuition with that high priestess energy, right? Because if this person makes you feel trapped or makes you feel like you're always overthinking the situation or you always have to put a calm face on when in reality, like you feel like your mind is racing all the time, then maybe your intuition is telling you like, hey, maybe I do need to move away from this to like get a, sometimes you have to step back from something to really see it for what it is. How will Libra know who this is? Ten of Swords. Ay, ay, ay. The King of Wands. This is this is someone who's very charming. Very charming, knows just what to say. There could have already been an ending between the two of you, right? Or this person says things like they're not afraid to walk away. You could have felt betrayed by this person, or this person like has you know this person to be like to betray others. And it's it's not that it doesn't I hate to say it like this, but it's almost like it doesn't bother this person. A lot of heavy energy here. Like we have a lot of tens. We have, I'm seeing the ten of swords, ten of wands beside each other, at least. I don't know. It just feels like this person knows just what to say. They know just what to say and do. Anything else for who this person is? judgment they might want this is a card of second chances eight of cup it's like give me a chance after walking away it's like they want a chance just to be distant they want a chance just to be emotionally unavailable they could have walked away from you already we got two like eight ten of swords eight of cups like who is this person like i feel like this is someone you could have already had history with and if there's absolutely no one and this just reminds you of someone from your past this could be a new person coming in and it's like the same same energy, different body, and the universe trying to teach you something here. Right? Because the judgment card is the card of second chances. So I do feel like this person wants a chance with you, but like to what? Just to keep you around? Just to sort of control the situation? Like this, this is the type of person where like they would hate to see you with someone else, but they're dealing with someone else and they expect you to like be okay with it. Any advice for Libra? King of Cups, control your emotions, Six of Wands, Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like there's this energy here of like, oh, we could have been, like at one point, like if only had this had happened, or if only it went this way, or if only it, this, this played out in this way, we could have had this like, this connection, this so, sort of something long term. But living in the past and saying shoulda coulda woulda isn't helping the situation i also feel like if there was a point in time where it could have worked out and it didn't with the two of you there's a reason for that so spirit's asking you to be in control of your emotions don't emotionally react here honestly pretend like everything's okay it's kind of how it feels even if it's not with this person, don't let this, don't let this person know that they're bothering you. Basically the way you react is everything in this situation. Cause if this person is doing weird things and then you react emotionally, it's almost like they're like, okay, I still got it. Like Libra is still attached in some way or, uh, you know what I mean? Like, or they're still emotionally involved or they still care or whatever it might be. I also feel like if this person was like a provider financially in some way, that could be part of the reason why it's harder to leave. But I'm also getting like, you'll be able to do that on your own if you're not already. Especially if there's kids involved, it can be tricky, right? But I feel like control your emotions, act like you're good anyway, and don't like live in the past, basically. Any messages here for Libra? Look at that. Move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. First card out there. So spirit has a very, you know, direct way of communicating, I guess, today and telling you something. But obviously, this is your journey. This is your life. I'm not here to tell you what to do. But it, this, this is exactly what this person feels. It's like they, they come back around for a chance just to be emotionally unavailable, just to walk away. 
for what? We also got moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. So someone could be moving here. Sorry about that, Libra. So you got move on, you also got moving. Um, and then look at this, you got let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. So you literally have two cards of like move on, let go. Obviously, again, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I see love spell at the bottom. You could have felt like you were under some sort of spell with this person or whatever it might be, but yeah. Okay, we did get the chaser, fear of abandonment, chasing, codependencies. Could be you, could be this person. Someone's afraid to be alone. I feel like it's this one. And then we got passion, insane chemistry, sparks and having fun, equal interest, burning desire. So there is a lot of passion here. But I feel like it's not enough to like sustain the relationship. And it's also inconsistent. Um, messages for Libra. I am seeing someone, but I'm not ready for you to know about them yet. Look at out of all these cards, that's the first one that came out. So I don't know if you're already aware of this other energy, but it's very strong. It's coming through strong here, Libra. There's someone else here. There's someone else here. So maybe this person is trying to hide it. Look at all these cards that just flipped out. I wish I had treated you better. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Finding out the truth crushed me. I left when I saw you with someone. You and I were too young. I hid who I really am from you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Tell me about I'm seeing someone, but I'm not ready for you to know about them yet. Ten of Wands. It, this is what I'm saying. This person is like looking over a chessboard trying to maintain all the moves of everything. They're being very vague about whatever that situation is. I don't know if they've... I'm getting like a parent vibe. I don't know if they parent with this person or, or why it doesn't have to be. But they're, they're not... It's stressing them out to like be... It feels like living two lives almost. Um, but they're still doing it. We got remain positive. And then you got reconsider. I do feel like this person's gonna ask you to reconsider. They said not those. I don't usually skip over those cards, but I guess I'm going to. Messages for Libra. You're very close to achieving your goal. I feel like that's almost like a career message there. Or just like understanding this situation perhaps. Your dreams need a practical plan. Yeah, there's something about money that you're working on that's happening here. Um, you're very close to it. And then we got a fiery climax approaches. So if, if it hasn't already come out that there's another person involved here, I feel like it's going to because um, it's coming through strong. We got Yang and it came out in the side. So I'll read both messages. And then we got chaos and conflict, which does not surprise me. So we got number one and number 33. So I'll read the protection and the upright message. Let's see. Be mindful of the tendency toward impulsive action, overconfidence and aggressive behavior. Think before you act, lest you find yourself in a situation that will lead to uncomfortable consequences. Be sure you really want what you're chasing after because you might be sorry when you get it. The appearance of this card isn't cause for fear for life is all about learning lessons. Practice temperance, diplomacy, and thoughtful consideration before making a move. And then you also got circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement toward your highest good, so go forth with assurance. Uh, passion is in the air and now is the time to dance to the tune of love take the lead so I feel like the trusting that you'll know you'll quickly know where you stand is huge with that message that came through there um, but we also got chaos and conflict which I feel is sort of speaking to whatever this messy situation is which says, this is an advantageous moment to restore order and recognize the opportunity for negotiation. Even in the seeming chaos, there is a kind of divine order, a complete resorting of elements. This is powerful. If your intention is to find the best solution for the highest good of all, there is positive news. The timing is perfect. 
Things are already stirred up, so don't be afraid to, to jump into the mix. You'll discover everything you need to know about how the situation affects you long term. Be present in the eye of chaos. This moment is valuable. Don't waste it. And that's kind of like this stepping back and seeing it clearly, I feel, is what's happening here. Um, Libra. So let's see. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got F, O, X, Y, E, Q, and the number three. Okay, Libra, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. If you're still seeking further clarification, check out the description box down below. There's a link there for Mystic Sense. There you can connect with a love psychic um, and get your first five minutes completely free. And then I also have a code there for 10% off. So check that out if you're interested. All right, thank you so much for all of your beautiful energies. Sending you so much love and light.